Hi, this is Jim, Jim Eats on the forums. Thought I'd give you a little update on the yellow tanks. As you can see, they're uh, actually moved from my quarantine tank to my uh, frag tank. Um, they did have uh, a couple of them broke out with some ick um, when I first got them. And one of them had uh, lymphosis, so I treated them accordingly. Uh, I have to thank uh, Kevin Cohen when he came over and spoke at our club. Uh, Bay Area Reefers, he uh, suggested using uh, Riddick uh, by Cordon, which is um, Malachite Green and Formalin. And so, with aggressive feeding, uh, uh, siphoning of the tank, and um, water changes and with the treatment it seemed to really has um, done the job so he started getting aggressive uh, yellow tanks being what they are um, I uh, decided to move them here after a month or so uh, in the QT tank so uh, hopefully they can uh, clean up some of the algae in here and stuff and uh, earn their pay um, and I'm kind of glad I got these yellow tanks when I did, especially here with all the uh, things going on in Hawaii and just uh, banning with a lot of collection of fish and a couple of the islands there. Uh, who knows what the prices will, will be in a year with these guys. So they'll probably be the last ones uh, introduced into the tank, uh, main tank, uh, simply because of their aggressive nature. But uh, they seem to be doing okay, uh, and uh, hopefully they'll. Uh, do the job here, keeping the algae growth in check. Um, up next probably will be the Mokoskos Ras introduced into display. They've been in the uh, QT for uh, about eight weeks or so now. And um, they seem to be uh, ready to go. I think they need some sand so we can uh, burrow their way in there and, uh, at night and stuff. So uh, I need to build a fish guard. So expect some, uh, that's my next project, and I'll post some pics when I can. Again, thanks for joining me for the update of uh, Six Yellow Tanks, and happy holidays.